How many years ago was your AP Duro? 34 <laughs> years ago, 31 years ago, and 25 years ago. The three AP Duro. When did you begin to feel uh, discomfort when you sit or you need to move all the time after how many years, more or less, if you remember? Uh, I'm going to say from the very beginning. From the very beginning. All right. So, years ago. Yeah. And that was for to give for giving birth, right? The three times. Correct. Three C sections. Three yeah. So can you put your feet together and let's, let's see if you can touch your toe? All right. That's it. That's it. All right. And if you move your hips from side to side, see how far you go. And you have pain when you do that? Yes, yes. From one to ten. Oof. Uh I'm gonna say seven, four. Four. And you said you don't how long can you sit without feeling uh, discomfort? I can sit if I prop myself and keep my uh, pelvis in extension. So I compensate, but I have to prop myself. So that's how I've learned to sit. But it, I'm always moving. I can't sit still. All right. Do you have any other uh, pelvic problem or anything else? Sac sacral pain, bilaterally, right greater than left side. I'm a fibromyalgia person also. Okay, so we are going to release just the scar of the epidural because you have two different, three different epidural, and sometimes they don't need the first time. They do, they do, you know, multiple times before they get the needle in the right place. So she probably have many puncture, the many first time, left, right. So you're gonna have to look in the whole interspace L3, L4. Sometimes it's above, below, it depends where they put the needle. So we're gonna spend to do two, three, four. Lymphofascia release. Let's see what we'll see what happened. Let's do it. Do you want me to take my shirts off? Them Not necessarily. Okay. We're just going to pull it up. And if it is uncomfortable, I we can also have the person lie, uh, be seated, and um, be braced in a seated position so you can work on their spine um, if it's not comfortable for them. But she is able to lie on her stomach. So from the ASIS, we are locating, and the dura is um, L2, L4 area. And so I can feel the multiple ones. Let's see this. So the iliac crest is L4, L5. You go one level higher, and you're going to have to go through the bones to feel the dura tightening with the lymphofascia release. At the level of lamina group, I find the tension and we are dropping in and releasing with the fluid. And it's going to go inferior and lateral toward the inguinal first node. One, first Can you show one. that the direction of the uh, when the lymph is going? Second one on the left side went to the inguinal. So you go, show the direction again, you go inferior and lateral. Great, okay. different puncture. So that's number three now you're doing, a different area, every time different puncture? Yes, on the left side. Now on the right side, I find another one. Again, we're on the lamina groove. Lymphofascial release. And the direction towards the right inguinals. Go back, double check. So like when we were doing the liver, you had to go through the ribs to feel something under the ribs. Now you have a little bit of a slightly thicker bone you have the spinous process, the lamina on each side. You have to go through there and feel this little tube that have tension. And you have to do your lymphofascia release, releasing the fascia and the lymph in those area. Go a bit, you know, away from midline. You never know where the needle was put. Until you feel it's not tight, there's no direction of ease, there's no barrier. 
in the fascia, you have a lot of collagen fibers, some elastic fibers. Sometimes you can feel emotions coming, frustration. All right, let's try you. Let's have you coming up. I'm drooling. How do you feel? I was drooling. <laughs> <laughs> A very bizarre, very uh, relaxed. Perfect. So let's try to see how you feel. Same position. That's better. So great. Oh, my God. Vichy, can you bring the mic next to her? She just said that feels so great. All right. Now, side to side. It's very good. Okay, side to side. See how far are you going if you have pain? I go a little further, not as much pain. So, how much is left and how much is right? That's seven and four. Four, three. So, went from seven to four and from four to three. Perfect. Now, try to sit now. See if you have less discomfort when you sit. Maybe even a heart, if there's a heart chair or something, not so comfortable up there. Yeah. It feels uh, more trusting that I can sit, but I'm very tentative. All but, right. uh, it does seem different. So BJ, now she moved a little bit. I'll suggest to recheck. Okay. Check the three L4, L4, L5, if you have anything left. But you can yeah. imagine somebody with backache could be freed up like that in a few minutes if the backache comes from the epidural scar. Okay, let's get you on the table. So about the camera. Go a little bit higher, a bit lower. Sometimes they put the needle in different places. A little bit more on the side. If cover more ground and see if there's anything that's still scarred. Or it could be all done. I will ask them also to leave the head in the middle to be more neutral with the hand under the forehead. So we treated some more. Beginning. So let's go, um, let's go, uh, just checking the lateral movement, see if there's a difference. Take your time. Yeah. I actually would like to drain the anterior lymphatics just for a second. Yeah, that would be great to do the inguinals. Okay, let's try. <laughs> wow. That feels great. <laughs> <laughs> that feels great. And that side to great. side. Yeah. And what are the numbers? One, three. Three and one. So from seven to three, and from four, you went to one. Okay. I knew Let's we could do that. Let's try one more time. I would say this is still a three, this is a zero. Yeah. So you see how important it is. I mean, what happened is we drained the lymph to the inguinal. But if we have not done it, she would have released in the, last, in the next hour. It would have drained slowly to the inguinal and create the same effect. But we accelerate and release the compensation by draining the, the lymph a little bit faster to the inguinal. So you have less effect. But she would have released that eventually. Perfect. Thank you so much. So we are we are now about an hour and a half, two hours after your treatment. Yes. So after we broke for lunch, which was shortly after the release, I noticed a huge change in my gait, um, more reciprocation mm -hmm. and a free a lumbar rotation. And then I went to the car. I forgot my phone. And I ran back to the school. I don't, I can't run. It feels very jarring for me when I run. And I felt so fluid with running. I couldn't believe it. Like 
I you, saw you running. Did you see me running? I saw you running. I so, couldn't believe it. Yeah. So. What about your sacral, sacral pain? I don't have, I really like now, honestly, I don't have any pain. Zero on both sides. Test. Yes. Yes. And what about your sacral pain? You said you have sacral pain. Uh, just feeling. No, no more. No more sacral I pain. I don't have it. Zero on each side. And let's see. Don't hit your head. You touch. Perfect. Okay. You're ready for dancing tonight, I guess. Wow. Easy touch. Merci. <laughs> Pleasure. Ready.